Hello and welcome to another dramatic reading by me, Anzani84. And today I'm going to be doing one of the next chapter of Super Sentai vs Super Sentai. Turns out I have the time for another chapter after all. Chapter 12, An Unlikely Helper. Author's note. Yes, this is a very quick update, but also a massive whammy one. Because another character is revealed and we're not someone you'd expect. Keep reading to find out who. Chapter 12, Unlikely Helper. And now we're reaching the finals. For the finalists, please step to the ring. It's a martial arts tournament. For some reason, Taku was participating there. And when I did want to have fun, he was also looking for something within there. Cash. So there is a reason. If I win this, I won't be indebted by Tizato again. Flashback time. As a trio of Taku, Jirai and Tizato were tossing the camera to tease both Hoji and Mei, Jirai tossed the camera to Taku. Where when Taku grabbed it, he wasn't looking behind him. As a result, he tripped and the camera was thrown off to a nearby lamppost. There was a cracking sound, which would mean bad news. Ah, no! She screamed, running to the camera. She looked at the remnant of empty side. Oh, I can't believe it. It's ruined along with the memory card. And all the photos I got, gone. Including these portraits. Those portraits. Woo, Hody silently. Which means no more of those fake wedding photos. We were hands out as they got angry too, Taku. Angry with, not angry too. Taku, how are you going to deal with this? She yelled, grabbing his collar, nearly breaking out, crying. What is my treasured camera? Are you going to make up to it? Make up for it? Well, uh, is there any way I can do it? Sorry about that. Taku's a bit nervously apologized. I decided to try to get him to him buy a new camera. And now you don't put a two in. But he wasn't that much of a tech savvy guy. I don't care. You replaced with a new one. Some model. A model. Buy it or whatever. It's your punishment. Hmm. Sat on your facing away from Taku like an angry young girl and walked away. Taku had now no choice to accept the deal. Thankfully, he may have approached him and reassured him too. Please don't worry about Sat, I'll try to calm her down, but I think you should honor her request. Request? More like demand, I think, but I do know it's my fault, Taku stated. As he got up and May left, both Jirai and Hody checked on the remnants of the camera. Taku, we can help you with the camera specifications, Hody said, heading back to Taku and giving him the camera. I'll list up what you need to purchase. Great, money won't be a problem, but I suppose Taku said but at that point Jirai cut him off. I think Tosato will forgive you more if you use your own money rather than our money, he said, shocking Jiraiya. Yeah. Hiya. Tend to be shocking Takaru. Don't get me wrong, I'd help you if I can. Right method maybe we get to win Tosato's trust back. Actually, you're right, Jiraiya, Taku says he nodded, or he's a bit disappointed. I want her to forgive me, I gotta do it my way. And after that, while looking for money, Taku stumbled upon a martial arts tournament. Quite a good sum of money for prize. It's been enough to buy the cameras and stuff to buy Jiraiya. He could boast to start to use his own sweats to earn my money and she'll definitely forgive him about the instant. Here he was in the finals, and his opponent turned out to be a woman. Claimed to be named Kasumi, she seemed to be a capable fighter. Well, if you're a woman, I'll not hold back. Kasumi, you'd better not underestimate me. Tagaru, Kasumi said, and as the gong was sounded, both of them moved forward and began throwing everything they got, from punches, chops, elbows, feet, and knee. How does that even mean beyond it, a chops? Taku fought his best, but his Kasumi was a tough fighter. So determination managed to call him to the edge of the arena. Remembers the fact that he's a woman. Sexist, Taku would hit her, but not in a continuous way. He wants to finish it with one clean bow. Oh, what's the matter? Scared? Kasumi taunted, continued to execute many rapid punches and kicks towards Taku. Can only block. You said you're not going to hold back. Liar! Yes, yes, just think like that. One swoop and victory is mine. Taku fought, letting Kasumi think he's holding back. But we had to admit he travel. But man, this is one hell of a strong check. Fought for Taku, who eventually found in several pauses in between Kasumi's attack. On that occasion, Taku carried his oars to the Yeah! But that was the Lord's concentrated powerful punch straight on Kasumi's stomach. It was a powerful one which he eventually slumped. But every start of the countdown, if it reached 10, she'll lose. 1, 2, 3. Like how I'm gonna lose! Kasumi suddenly yelled and got back on her feet, clutching her stomach. Damn it, Takaru, I won't leave. Who's to you? Whoa, she got back up. Uh, so it's my plan for one blow to finish it all. Taku thought he took his stance again. Uh, that blow is a powerful one as it was affecting Kazumi's speed. Attack the game continued to be slower. Taku found lots of openings and managed to deliver several chops that knocked her down. 
My rules of torment, three falls mean defeat. Don't underestimate me, Kasumi says as he gathered her strength attempt to sweep Taku. He acted well, but it turned out to be a feint that what she was aiming was his chest. Didn't what she was aiming for? She punched him with power straight. Damn, what's the most stupid rules I aimed for the head? Aim for the head. Ow! Taku clutched just got up on the fifth count. That one hell of a powerful punch. The fight still continued. Eventually, Kasumi knocked Taku down again, but he still got up. It was a truly intense fight. It reached a climax that at one point, both of them launched their own punch towards the chest and they both connected. Oh, Taku did not hit the boobs. I hope not. Taku fell down as he clutched his chest in one hand and put the other on the ground. Can't lose here. The prize money is at those camera. However, on the other hand, Kasumi remained motionless until eventually he collapsed to the ground. The count was given to Kasumi and didn't get up after the 10th count. And we have our winner, Takaru! Crowd, even if it wasn't that big, burst into cheer. Cheer. Yeah, the referee helped Taku get up and raise his hand in victory. Alright, way to go me, Taku fought triumphant. Wow, what a... What a dick. He then looked at Kasumi. She's powerful. She might have been a Sentai warrior if she was chosen. Taku was carrying his bag and surprised when he was stored there. Am I out forever? She? Taku is about now a sex change. Aims mid-sentence, found Kasumi walking. Kasumi! Taku called, approaching. Oh, Taku, Kasumi answers, her tone was a bit cold. What do you want? Well, I just want to say, you're a powerful lady. I look forward to fighting you again in the future. Again, but missing too. What says you? As Taku said back, she offered his hand for handshake. Though well, Kasumi was a bit reluctant, she also offered her hand and shook hands together. I'll see if I have time, Kasumi said. Now, if you'll excuse me, as he said back, she left Taku, also went separate ways. Kasumi quickly entered a nearby alley and met a handsome man clad in black leather. I've done it, Rio Sama. I've got the list of the tournament fights and the dojo attending. Hey, good work, Kasumi. Rio oh, said, smirking. Or rather, melee. I, like, that wasn't obvious. I mean, I've been trying to impersonate Yuka Hirata for the, Kasumi's voice and I put a picture of Rio and melee in the title of the screen. As he said that, Kasumi suddenly morphed or changed costume, which was it? The sexy green key power and reminiscent to a chameleon's green skin. They are in fact the two leaders of the Rinjuken school who opposed the Juken Sentai Geki Ranger. Black Lion Rio and Melee the Rinju Chameleon Fist. They were supposed to be dead, but for some reason they have appeared in this well. Rio Sama, is this really necessary? Suddenly Melee questioned. She usually would obey every Rio's whim. Simply every one of Rio's whims while giggling like a love struck girl. I'm not sure if that's an insult or a compliment. Well, this time she found herself questioning Rio's plans. You're not questioning me like that, Melee. We're going. Rio was down to extremely cozy, walked away. Melee could only follow, but she found herself unable to praise him anymore. What went wrong with Rio's Sama lately? He's been acting weird and more ruthless. This. this can't be. You think the guy. I first act on screen as a drowner city which is more ruthless than usual. The guy who turned into an abusive asshole when he lost his memories. That sounds like a Tuesday to me. <laughs> hey come on Hey come on, back in Barnes is out a bit confused. She was blindfolded and told to sit down without opening it. Let's wait over here, okay? You can open later, Jiraiya says he opened the nearby door. Taku went to bed carrying a small box. Okay, you can a you can open, but that sat open a blindfold at the same time. Taku pulled something from a box, a new camera. Wow, it's even the similar model. Isn't it the same model? Sato said happily she looked at the camera. And more advanced too. But it's not that similar. You like it? Taku said, handing the camera to Sato. Thank goodness my sweats and bruises didn't come in vain. Huh? How did you, Sato asked. I participated in a martial arts to local tournament a few days ago to buy that for you. Hold you was thinking of a computer and a... My! Sato didn't know what to say except looking at Taku's ready smile. Thank you, Takaru. So that means I'd be given for that one incident? Taku asked as Sato eventually nodded. He clapped at least that's behind him. At least now he could investigate more about the seven colours he found last time in peace. Say, where's Mei? Mitigating a certain incident involving a mysterious dojo trasher. Hoji answered, typing in some keys in the computer, and eventually displayed a news website to a big monitor. So the headline of a dojo being trashed, all students and students were heavily wounded. This might be some, some sort of new alienize in the work. Work. Were any of those monsters? God damn it! Jiraiya said, clenching his. 
Maybe playing the lowest out. What kind of trap this time? And after that, Takashi needs to call someone. May Takuru, we found him. Him. Oh, hey, May. Takuru greeted. See you master that device quick. Hold your teeth and take a few. This is no time for that, May insisted. I spotted the dojo tracer. Quick, come to me so we can catch him. What? Got it. Knowing this, the new Taku closed communication from Masky Brace. From Masky Brace. Looks at the rest of his teammate. Beak of the devil he's spotted. Hoji, locate May's position. Once you get position, we'll rendezvous with her. Roger. Hoji answered. He eventually tried tracking May through the computer. Yo, you can speak normally without English. Dryer corrected. Shut up. It's an SBD procedure. Hoji cut off any complaints. Complaints. Until he quickly managed to pin down May's location. Alright, got it. Good, let's go. Staku arrived before headed off to the teleporter to meet May. Staku and his team met up with May. They wasted no time to enter the dojo. There, they were, dis they were displayed of sprawling bodies of many students. There were two trashers, a lizard-like creature and Melee. However, Taku was shocked on witnessing Melee. Face look familiar. N no way. Kasumi? Huh? You know her? Jiraiya asked. He's never seen her. She's my opponent during the finals. Taku explained. What are you doing in that get-up and monster? She's inside the monster? I know that face. Hoji exclaimed, wondering. He's one of the enemies of the Super Sentai team, Juken Sentai Geki Ranger. Oh, he's just helping the end, along with the other one. Might see the Dojo Tracer now, Sato asked, and able to understand what it meant. Man, just kept silent. Oh, so it wasn't the Geki Ranger that I faced here. A voice echoed the Dojo main hall opening, and an elderly man was knocked away. There came Rio. You are also the same as them. Super Sentai, isn't it? You! Who are you and why are you doing this? Nears Nanga. Ah, uh, yes, introduction. I should have done that before going to the next phase. As Rio stepped out, he held his hand for an implant. Ringy Guy Soul. The body transformed, now enarmored, enarmored, into Black Lion armor. Melee also transformed into an armored chameleon like monster. As purely fierce as a lion, as powerful as a lion. My name is Black Lion Rio. Was it like monster also spoke? I am the greatest student of the Rinju Ken School. I am Dokomo, Rinju Komodo Ken Master. I live for the love of Rio Sama. For Rio Sama's love, I fight this love warrior. Rinju Chameleon Ken Mistress. Melee. Yes, now I recall. That's their names. Hoji said, recalling the names of Rio and Melee. Hurry, didn't recall you. I don't think I've heard about Dokomo, though. Perhaps just an alienized like monster? So, Kasumi was just a guy, isn't it? Isn't it? Takuru, so as he clenched his anger. How dare you! Taku, it was a good fight, really. I'm, I'm honest, May said. Melee said, come in. Do you get him away of Rio Sama? And I'll kill you. Yes, they're in my way. Melee, Dokomo, kill them! Rio suddenly said. At that point, Melee was shocked. What was the point, Rio Sama? You've been acting strange lately. It's needless killing. Trashing on useless people that didn't bother us. Melee! Rio said in a menacing tone, carrying Melee to obey. Yeah, yes, Rio Summer. As Melee stepped back, she turned towards Dokomo. Let's do it, Dokomo. Two Rinju Ken Masters took their stance towards the Super Sentai. Ready to fight while Rio just stood there. Confident Mr. Stone that he needed not to take a stance. Damn, we've got to defend ourselves. Taku signaled everyone to transform and fight. As they know they prepared themselves. Chaos. Aura mask, red mask, emergency, Dagger Ranger, face on, Dino Buckler, Super Henge, Dawn Changer, install, Mega Ranger. As the Super Sentai transformed, everyone engaged in battle. They were both Melee and Dokomo were expert, expert in close combat, and they were all having a little bit of trouble. Three men engaging Dokomo, Melee attacked Terror Ranger and Mega Yellow. Too weak. As they are more proficient with long range attacks, Melee continues to stay close and beaten severely. This is all the other Super Sentai got. I think there's a hat missing there. They're even more losers than the Geki Rangers. Well, they can't really be losers if they manage to beat you occasionally. <laughs> How low can you be? Ugh! <sighs> Terror Ranger struggling. As such, Melee attempts to strike once more. However, Terror Ranger managed to leap in time and shot on the shoulder while leaping. But I hope you don't not underestimate my reflexes. Why you? Melee growled in annoyance. By that point, Melagiello was near her. Don't think I'm that harmless in close range. So as he attempted to kick Melee, where it was blocked. Blade arm! Making her arm as steel as a blade to try chopping Melee on the chest, knocking away. Not bad, but I'm not done. 
And the ring jumped to both Mega Yellow and Toei to spelling her hand for down. Rinju Chameleon Ken, Ringi, Zakarioran. To let out her steel tongue, continued to stab on both ladies, knocking them away. However, both still managed to get up. Well, your spirit is admirable. You're still weaker than Rio Sama. And me! Jesus, well, you're a vain, vain bitch, but. As she said that, Melly launched herself forward, closing in the gap and fighting in close range. And it was at that time Turin just sent out something off. Her attacks are weaker than before. What is this? It's like there's some doubt in her. Meantime, Dokomo is fighting against both Deck Blue and Ninja Black. As they're unfamiliar on how Rinji fought, they had a little trouble fighting. And indeed, Dokomo is getting with one big attack. Now you won't escape. Rinju Komodo Ken. Ringi Kibahagale. No, you don't. The Sniper! Reactively, Decker Blue bared his sniper on Ninja Black or spared his own range weapon. Black Bow! Both shot down the hands of Dokemo. They wanted dusts. Dusts cleared. Two sets of chain of their ends, looking like the jaws of a dragon, were shot. Put on both the hands of Decker Blue and Ninja Black. What? Ha ha ha! Now you're in my grass! There is no escape. Once I bite you, I don't let go. The Dokemon said that he pulled his hand, which the chain came from, and pulled Decker Blue and Ninja Black to the sky. Hung off, until your bones break. Gah! Ugh! Decker Blue is writhing in pain, his hands start to hurt more and more. However, as Dokemo said, the chains won't come off. At the same time, Red Mask fought to get off against Rio. Couldn't be fought against with no off. As compared to the previous fight with Melee during the tournament, Rio was far more vicious and aggressive. His punches and kicks were strong and accurate. The red mask felt like being tossed around like a rag doll. This is it. This is the power of the senior of Geki Red. You disappoint me. You and your karate, red mask. Damn. Why? Red mask says he tried to get up. Did you forget how he helped the Geki Ranger? At least according to that book. Was that a lie? That's nothing for you to know. The red uh, replied cause he kicked red mask on the chest and continued to stomp it on the ground. I guess you deserve to die. No. Unfortunate. Then if you to die like this, never! Red Mask says he drew something to his hand. His masky blade. He attempted to thrust Rio on the stomach. However, Rio was able to grab the masky blade. In one bend, he broke the masky blade in two. What? Weapons are useless against me. Rio continues to prepare a hand gesture. Rinju Lion Ken, Ringi, go you Koha! Thrusting his hand to Red Mask, he sent out an image of Lion, of Lion, which means he tackled on, on Red Mask and thrusted him to the earth creating a hole in his plate and demorphed him. Leo looked around and saw how the battle went. He saw Dokomo doing what Melee wasn't. Melee, I thought if your strength you could kill them with ease. It turns out you can't. Mrs. Girl, I no longer have need of you. You can die with those, along with those two. Same. Eh? Melee was distracting her blast parts. Yo, Summer, what do you? Ringy, why go, Dan? Rio then flung a bottle full of Rinky, directed at Terrains and Mega Yellow. Unkaying that Melee was still in the line of fire. Rio Sama, no, Melee, Melee is. Melee begs the news he couldn't escape. As a result, the three girls are thrown away, all of them demorphed. Why, Rio Sama? Melee could only utter words of sadness, her body laid fast and weak. As Rio looked at how Dokomo was doing, apparently the bones of Deck Blue Ninja Black's hands are broken and may have demorphed. Dokomo, that's enough. We leave. They have failed to meet my expectations. Neo commanded as he walked away. Yes, Neo Sama. Dokomo says, let go of his steel chain. You're lucky. If I want, I'll break your organs. Then triumphantly walked away, leaving a defeated but and wait, Neo Sama. Tears started to form him in Melee's eyes. I said, beloved, suddenly left to die like that, but Rio did not answer. And I tried to reach him with her remaining strength, gritting her teeth to keep herself together, but her strength failed as she collapsed. Rio Sama, ah, ah, could get her weakness and her love betraying her. Melee sobbed herself, sobbed herself, until she lost consciousness on her own. But if she could lose her consciousness any other way. An hour later, a hand came out from a hole that was created by Rio. Taku managed to claw himself back to the surface. Damn it, that was one powerful enemy indeed. He commented as he got back up at holding his stomach as it hurt like hell. He scanned the surrounding, surrounding, and saw his friend about to say, You guys okay? Hi, I'm fine. Maybe was the first to get up all by Sato. It's nothing, I've had worse, seriously. Sato continued, she also looked at Hoji and Jiraiya. You too, okay? Guess we ah! Jiraiya was about to get up, but his broken bone on the hand prevented him to get up fully. To be prevented him from getting up fully. My hand. 
When he said he doesn't let go, he meant it. Cody commented as he tried getting up with his other hand. Did he say he used Komodo fist or something? Like a Komodo dragon. Once it bit its prey, it never let go. That's been pre- isn't pre- ins- ins- I don't think it's a time for a biology lesson. Like I said, we have to think away. That was a kind of enemy. We have to search for a Geki range to counter them. Yeah, that's a good point. Why are, they, why are there two Geki Ranger bad guys, but no Geki Ranger heroes so far? Wait, Takaru may stop him as he suddenly moved towards John Cosmere. Let's take her with us. That moment, Takaru looked at Melee. Felt something a little strange about this woman. For a moment, he was contemplating on taking Mace off, of thinking, Mace, he's the enemy, Sato protested. Why was he trying to sabotage our base while we're away? Sato, don't you feel it too? Remember when we fought her? May I ask, causing Sato to rethink further, remember something. When we fought her, it felt like she got weaker. Takaru was in my place, always says something like, Her fist was filled with doubts. She doubted to fight us? Sato said, surprised. Yeah, I'd be surprised if I said something like that. <clears throat> I think there's something wrong with her boss. Or else why would he deem her use before he blasts us off? <clears throat> May said, looking with tears that flooded the area below Melee's eyes. I also heard her sobbing back when after we were blasted. Maybe it's something that more, that's more than meets the eye. That's more. She might be a tortoise soul as well. Please, let's take care of her. Well, I'm not so sure about that, Hody said, trying to convey his suspicion. This might be worth a shot, though, to I from the added. I also read the book, you know, Miss Melly. He was counting as one of the Sentai warriors. I once believed that the book was, isn't lying. I can vouch out of that. When she fought me in the tournament as Kasumi, her fists were full of energy and honesty, Taku continued. I'd be interested to see what's in store for her. As he said that and gave his approval, May nodded and lifted Melly up on her shoulder. Let us return to Bond and take care of our wounds and hers. The whole battle's due by Bell and the rest through their base. That's, that's it. They're beaten just like that, Go, as Dogro said in belief. A little runt trying to update us. Hmm, how interesting. I said, Miss Rio is an extraordinarily powerful one. However, something was off. It's just like what I felt before. Sibelina added, reminded with her last spotting of Rio to be reminded of. I think it'd be best if we try to be cautious. I'll continue to watch over this young lion, Bella said reassuring her. In the meantime, you better come up with some backup plan. If we're lucky, he'll wipe out the Super Sentai while we plan for something to kill him once he's done the deed. This mutiny between the Super Sentai is a chance that must not be missed. I'm not sure he often knows what a mutiny is when he used it here. Very well. I guess I'll just train really hard, Gasha Dogo said, walk away. When he faces me, he will bow down to my knight. I'll try to come up with some plan. Excuse me, Shibalina says. He also moved away, leaving a bell to look further at Rio. And Malia regained her consciousness, she felt a bit weird. There were lights on her sight, it felt like she's taking some sort of building. Where, where am I? Ah, you're awake! May's voice is hers, Melly looked at her face. Full of compassion, she tried putting some hot water on her forehead. Please don't worry, you're safe now! You! Melly didn't even say thanks, and instead rolled away from the bed she was on and punched May in the face, knocking her down. She recovered quickly. Are you trying to hold me hostage? Please calm down, I don't need any harm to you! May tried to calm Melly down, did no good as Melly just kicked her down again and started running, ruining the medical bay by tossing pretty much everything down. Why? What for? <laughs> is it just such a dream? <clears throat> this place will never keep me down. Side, holding me hot is useless, because I know Rio Sama won't. As Melee frankly yelled in wrecked bottles of water, menacing anything she came across, suddenly stops with mention of Rio. Rio Sama won't. Ah! <laughs> she started sobbing again. He was remembering how Rio dumped her. Okay, boys, he went. That just sounds like he was. like he broke it off with her in a rather humiliating way. He. he. Then DC dropped on her knees, powerless at the one that drove her. Her love for Rio. It took me one thing, was completely crushed by a man himself. Tears couldn't stop dropping from her eyes. The vent DC buried her face with two hands and stopped looking to her being. Rio Sama! Ah, ah, Rio Sama! There, there, it's okay. May tried to carry her down as he hugged Melly and buried her face with her. However, Melly couldn't stop crying. At that point, she didn't give any more damn. Any more damn. Transport being alive, her was to be at Rio's side. Now she was betrayed, rejected, and tossed away that very man. Felt completely dead from the inside. Completely dead on the inside. May, however, never stopped in hugging and comforting her, striking on her hair. You can serve us. Say your story. We won't ridicule you. It's okay. I heard a, heard a something, a something breaking. Suddenly the door opened and Taku and Sato entered. There's something, oh dear. 
I'm looking at the state of medical bay with a sign. I think there's some commotion, but it's over, Staff noted. I'll be cleaning this soon. Takamu, how'd it go? May I Hood and dryer patching up fine. A masky blade is also under repair. Takamu knew it may look at the crying melee. Didn't even look up to him. Would I see safe for a moment? Shortly after, Melee did finally calm down and sat on a table together with Takamura. Okay, for starters, let's have a bit of an introduction. You know me, a side of, of me, there are those, these people. Tomasu Hoji. May! Jiraiya. Jokasaki Tisato. You, just what do you want? Make it quick, Melee said in a grumpy tone. How do you get into this world? Takamura asked. It's not the same world as was yours. If it was your world, I'd be an old man. It's a weird world combining various timelines. How many years have been interested to help the Gekka Rangers? Aye, Melee was hesitant to answer. It wasn't in the mood. That's when it's lost everything so she didn't care much to mention the answer. In order to beat the Genju Ken Master Long, I and Real Sam requested that I be brought back to the world of the living once more for a short time to face him with the Gekka Rangers and some of a group calling themselves Go On to. With the cost that we would never go to heaven and forever doom ourselves to fighting leaders of hell for eternity. I didn't mind, as long as I'm with Rio Sama. Time passed, we fought legions after legions, uh, I do not know how long it has been. Do I know that while we fought on a certain legion, there was a quake. I thought it was a normal quake, but when I woke up I felt like I got out of the normal world, along with Rio Sama. I see, kind of similar to what we experienced, may know spell. If you want to skip to at Rio, how did I don't know? Melly shook her head. Ever since we returned from hell, Rio Sama has been acting strange. We would send out unnecessary killings and various pointless cool stuff she wouldn't even do back then. It's like he completely changed. And now he, and I was about to cry against me to tap my soldier. You understand, Hody stated being one to tap her shoulder. I mean, the script it might make sense on why Rio might be acting strange. It's like someone replaced her. Don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of this mystery. But I, Melly was to protest again as he recalled his severe beatings he delivered to Maine Sato. No, nah, it's okay, that's a pass, that's said to her. We'll help you. <clears throat> okay, first hand off my skin. Now I said a bit coldly. Only Rio Sama may touch it. Ooh. Tiger was impressed hearing Melee's declaration. Despite being a trade, she remained loyal to this Rio. In a sudden, the bonds alarm starts to ring. Monta show buildings being destroyed as Rio and Docomo walked, causing those destructions. He, he's at it again, Jiraiya stated. But if we stay here, more innocent will suffer, Sato said. Takaru, let's get a move on. You guys go ahead first, Takaru said. I have much to say of Melly. Even if five was once enough to dent him, now you want. Hoji protested, but suddenly one tapped the soldier to tell him to stop. As May, don't worry, Hoji. Let's trust Takaru's idea, May me assured. Let's move. Okay. Hoji and the rest noise they headed for the teleporter, leaving both Takaru and Melly to be the only ones in the room. What do you want? Still suspicious at me? Afraid I'll re eek. Reek, your base, Melee said with a snarky tone. I'm not gonna. I lost my will to go on. Don't stop now, Melee, Taku said, holding up a hand. You should join us. What? Are you joking me? Hands off! Melee immediately shoved off her hand, choosing off her. Who the hell do you think I am? I'm your enemy. Besides, I no longer want to fight if Rio Sam isn't Furby. Good God, girl. I know you're a chameleon, but grow a backbone. You can stop now, Melee, but you'll regret it, Taku said, his tongue getting more serious. What about that wasn't actually real, but the imposter? Maybe Rio could be somewhere in this world. That's why you can't take your life away if you care about Rio. How will he feel when he finds out you're already dead? He had to try. He might be risking on gamble, but perhaps Melly was a prophesied green boy that the seven colours imply. Even if she wasn't an official member. Yes, because the prophecy allows for loopholes like that. I don't care if you're an enemy, but I ask you to trust me and help us. Remember our maths before? Your fist is full of energy. It'd be a sad one if you discard and replace him with despair. I'd beam your fist. Don't let it rot. I, I couldn't help but think that Taku was speaking from about the truth. Start remembering the real Rio. One that did genuinely care about her. No comment there, me. One that she truly loved and loved her back, going as far as saving her from long. This Rio is an imposter, it would be, and it would be a cruel joke, and she'll need to have her revenge, or she wouldn't be able to face the Rio that she loved with her straight face. Then, after much thinking, she got up, along with Taku, and she gave her answer. Fine, I'll trust and help you for now, Takaru. Meantime, the rest of the team already transformed fought against Rio and Dokomo. However, Rio alone was enough to overwhelm Decker Blue, Terra Ranger, Ninja Black, and Mega Yellow combined. When we attempted at long range attacks with bare weapons, Rio merely just used extreme speed to close in on them and strike them down. So this is the power of the past Super Sentai. I can't believe how pathetic you are. 
Neo taunted Fair with the four attempt to get up. You bastard! Deck Blue curse attempt to get up. Can't lose here. Damiro hand, we can't seem to win. Miguel was struggling to get up as well. They were slowly we were slowly driven in despair. They couldn't seem to win against Rio. Exactly. Ringy Resuken approaching the fallen warriors. Rio unleashed a roundhouse kick and knocked the form away before he could react. Now into despair was absorbed by Dogmo, pleasing him very well. Ah, Rio Sama. You grant me such despair from these people, he prays. Laser Magnum! There was a yell and several lasers shot to Rio. However, he only gathered his rinky deflecting it away. He saw Red Mask jumping and standing in front of his friends. Takaru, Ninja Black, us looking at leader. Rest for now. I'll take care of him, Red Mask says during a die. But he is, is too strong, Terry Ranger warned, but he only nodded knowing with. Where's Melly? Megiel asked, but for a moment Red Mask kept silent. Is that all you can do, Red Mask, relying on weaponry? Rio begged to step forward. As I said, your karate is futile against my Rinju Ken. Maybe so. I am still protecting my friend. For all I got, Red Mask said he drew heavily from his aura power. I'll show you. Power of aura power. Interesting. I hope it's been more interesting than last time. Rio said he took his stance. Come, Red Mask. Both Red Mask and Rio engaged in a brutal fight. Apparently, for the last time, Red Mask was bearing far better than before. So to at least match up with Rio's strength this time. Thanks to having more into the aura power, it could be a match up with Rinky of Rinzuken. This made Rio even more frustrated. That wasn't enough to distract the main reveal some openings. While we fight, it changes the tense there. However, Rio suddenly felt like he was impaled from behind. Why? <laughs> I knew it would be you. Rio currently looked behind, seeing that Melee has managed to sneak behind him, impale him with uh, a steel tongue. The dude concentrated but the fight with Red Mask, his aura power was enough to give him frustration to distract from Melee's inability. You dare stab me like this, Melee? To your Rio? Don't you call his name. You have no right to do it. Melee coldly says he attacks their tongue, leaving Rio to stagger. Along with Melee, Red Mask, other allies gathered near him as Melee herself continued. You can't be Rio Sama. You are far different, with needless destructions like this. Even if it was the power of Rinjuken, this is too much even for Rio Sama. I have been a fool to follow you around without questioning ever since we came here. How dare you defy Rio Sama's image of such ridicule! So yourself, imposter. <laughs> so it is only now you realize this, my dear Melee. He has suddenly laughed, suddenly going all starts around him. I suppose my playtime is over. And that is why you are not Rio Sama. He never refers to me like that. Melee retorted until she spotted Gonor. This, that moment, Rio suddenly vanished. He in place him as a blonde man draped in gold armor. The smug face planted at his, his face. Planted at his face. What? Long you. How do you do, Super Sentai? I hope you enjoyed that dance a bit, Long greeted. Maybe you are no Geki Ranger, but I suppose killing you all would be much more f that's fun. Long, so you're the enemy of the Geki Rangers, aren't you? Red Mask said. Indeed, but you know, I won't be satisfied if it's just the Geki Ranger that I destroy. Oh, the Super Sentai. They deserve to die for slighting me a little, Long said further. A bit excessive. What? Who do you think you are? Said Lucien Anger. Oh, you should know your place, mortals. Long still keeping a smug face. I am an ancient being that have watched over you humans for a long time. It is my right to decide what you would do. So if I say die for me, then you should die. Some on playing God, Ninja Black said angrily. You're no better than most of the Yokai Corp. Think all you want, but that's what it's gonna be. They think that'd be enough greeting. I have other business to attend. Long says he turned his back. Also, Melly, I wish I could see your face back then, and you felt so crushed that your Rio betrayed you. It's a small delight, it's still one. You made me temporarily lose my will to life. To life. Mirroring me such using real Sam's face. Long, you bastard! Mary, yeah. I was the attempt to strike Long of her side. But at that time, it was Dokomo who blocked her his fist. Dokomo, get out of my way! Attack him! If you want to fight the real Sam's say, too bad for you, but I can't have that melee. Dokomo says he deflected her side with his hand chains. Dokomo changed genders as him back and kicked away. Because now we win, you can use us. Pledge our loyalty to Master Long. Not Rio, and I am not alone. A lot of Rinju can use us here have switched our allegiance as well. For an account who's still loyal to Rio, I could probably count with my fingers. You rotten little traitor, Melee said angrily. At that point, Red Mask stopped in front of her. Oh, look at Long, enough to tell me that he must be stopped, Red Mask claimed. You insist to protect him and prepare to be destroyed. 
For a moment, Melly felt something similar like four when she fought long the last time, but go on, Jez. Perhaps she was standing next to Red Mask ready to fight for what she believed in. Rio, Red Mask, pursue mysterious cases. Deca Blue, Terra Ranger, May, Ninja Black, Jiraiya, Mega Yellow. I live for the will of Rio Sama. For Rio Sama's love, I fight as his love warrior. Rinju Camellia and Ken Mistress, Melee. Hey. We are! I said, Master said that. Only Melee didn't save the world. As he still contained enough horses to accuse saying such thing in use is certain. Especially with a bunch of people she didn't know enough. Super Sentai! Did you think I am the only one who defected? Tokomo said he was his snapped finger. Not from nowhere came a lot of normal Vinci. Oh wow, Chinese ghost, Mega explained. Or Jiangxi, in other words. This is what the Geki Ranger's for, and you to control them? She looked at Melee who just was forward. Less talk, more fighting. She explained she delivered a flying knee to one of the Rin Rin Shi. Um, no, we're just Ricky Rin Shi, aren't we? It's the first time she ever raised her fist, legs, or whatever to her brethren. Brethren. However, her, they did not serve Rio. They were no longer her brethren, as far as she's concerned. This is not far behind. Come on! As Red Mask rallied, the rest of the team also joined the fight. This time they formed the veteran force. Why you? Don't come out, says he leapt towards the team, enforcing close range against the team. Then she went opportunity rose, prepared something. Rinju Komodo Ken Ringi, Kira Hagane. Rather than unleashing his chain, he instead put his hands forward to his nearest target, Terra Ranger and Mega Yellow, which he was aiming at my chest. Ah, pervert! Terra Ranger yelled, slapping on his head. Get your hand off my chest! Is that what Ollie Rinju can use as ah, school of perverts? Mega Yellow said, also slapping his head. Hey, they are not all perverts. You think I didn't take notes on all the Rinju Ken students? Melee protested, enjoying that her style is what to be a perverse style, but I guess there are some exceptions. Say things about perversions and all you like. Let me make it clear, Doka says as eyes gleam. Once I bite, I don't let go. That moment, his grip tightened, and it didn't feel like a light squeezing. It felt like crossing a test every of his might, every watt of his might. The light had to shift as eventually Terra Ranger and Megio were instead screaming in pain. Ah! God damn it! Deku Blue said, bear the sniper on Ninja Black, also aimed his black bow. Hands up, them! Um. Aim for head, Ninja Black said. That would definitely disrupt him. Got it! As Deku Blue confirmed, they both shot down their weapons to Dokemo's head from behind. However, he didn't affect him much, and his grip was instead tightened. You can't distract me with that. Now I'll claim my first victim. Dokemo said he lifted both Terrains and Megio with his hands. Ah, there has to be one place that's unprotected, Megio said, better Megio explained. Okay, I think I got it. May you think of what I'm thinking? Y yes, Terra Ranger nods, just put her toe out. It's useless, you cannot. Wah! Dokomo said triumphantly until he realized one thing. Then the eyes. That's not the eye! But he's too late. Both ladies shot down his eyes. His one weakness caused him to let go of the grip while he staggered on his eyes. Guess that's all you can do, Dokomo. You're pathetic, Mali said as she approached him. She's preparing to execute him. You'll be eating your words. Soon, Melee! He suddenly leaves a change their jaws trying to bite on Melee. Perhaps he retaliated quick enough and had the jaws bite her side instead. This is it! You'll be crippled now! I'll destroy my weapons! Beast! Melee beckoned him, he was still holding a tight grip on my weapon. Ha! Are you an idiot? Basic rule of martial arts. Any of, any of, body parts is a weapon. But don't tell me you forget. Regardless. May said back, she began gathering energy from her side, the ball of energy formed from it. Rinju, Chameleon, Ken, Ringi, Raku, Geki, Ken. A ball of energy launched, destroying the chain into pieces, for impacting, knocking Dokomo away. Hey, wow, way to go, Melee! Red Master rest approached Melee and gave a play. For some reason, Melee felt a bit awkward. Uh, hey, it's natural, of course, Melee hardly said. As far as she's concerned, while we send, I seem to mean well. She had something else in her mind. Her praise are not compared to praises by real summer. They couldn't see her face now. If they could, they would have seen Ma his mind giddy like a cheerful child yelling for real space. Uh, real summer. You bastards! Dokomo suddenly got back as he turned to stand. I'll crush you all! Then started moving his hand in circular motion before moving down. Ringi! Jashin go ten hen! And nothing happened. What? What the hell happened? Dokomo said in panic, Jasin go ten hen! He tried to ring again, it produced no result at all. Huh? Even Melee was confused about. I was supposed to make him go large. 
That's what's strange in this world. Like we can't have gigantic battles again. Otherwise we'd be unleashing our robots. Red Mask explains the end of cracking his knuckles. No matter. Now it's our turn. Hi. It was Dogamo's turn to panic now as he couldn't turn into a giant. It's the eye, right? Fine. Deku says he prepares the sniper. I never miss. He then shot twice, both hitting Bullseye and Dogamo's eyes. While Dogamo was staggered, Ninja Black had snuck behind Dogamo and grabbed him from behind and leapt upwards. Nimpo, is you know toss? Ninja Black yelped. In the same time, he also called out, Taku, now! Okay, God Hand! Red Mask said he prepared his God Hand. While I'm going for straight, he swung his hand upwards, straight to Dogamo's head while he jumped. Appa! Puns are so powerful that it ripped the Dogamo in two before it exploded. Or it could happen, however, both Red Mask and Ninja Black jumped away to safety and landed. Great job. Best case complete. Deck Blue complimented. It. You better approach him when he goes off his hand. Me, Desato, you girls okay? It, uh, it has like hell, but we're fine, I guess. My girl says he took Deck Blue's hand to get up. Together with Te. Oh, Ranger. Then J1 D Morty gathered. Now look at Melee. So, what do you do now, Melee? Taku asked, approaching her. Here, these are do have one purpose in this world now. Melee said, still loof like usual. I need to hunt down those traits you worships. Worships the ground mad long walks and puns from myself. Otherwise, I won't be able to look at Rio Sama's face again. As long as sounds like a dangerous person, definitely despicable, May said also about together. Melee, why don't we fight together? Fight together? Huh. Mate, Ellie suddenly turned from her face and quite smoked them. I can't stand you all. I can do this myself. Who needs help from the likes of you? It's something I gotta do myself. You'll just slow me down. Why, you're ungrateful. Hold your round of a nearly tried to strike her until you start a dryer. Calm down a bit, dryer said. But from his voice, clear that he's pissed off and merely holding off his anger. Didn't we fight together just before? That wasn't enough for you? So I to ask once more. Don't get me wrong. I just fought to get back at him. I'm not interested in being goody goody like you all, and I retorted. Remember, the essence of Rindu is about we draw from power and suffering of people. Melee, May saying concerned. I don't think that is the case. It's her decision. We have fun fighting alongside you, Melee. I hope you'll come back. Taku said, smiling. Just remember one thing you were pretty powerful back there. And when you were fighting at the tournament, I think that was your true strength, honest and full of spirit. If you do not use the despair of humans, you're still powerful. Well, think about it carefully. We'll be seeing you again. And now I've lost my place. If Taku said back, guess to the right, so they left, leaving Melly to what Taku just said. I'm never coming back. Good riddance. Melly said in a slightly venomous voice. Charles told as he turned away and walked off. However, even Taku's words heavily weighed on her mind, she couldn't help but admit she did have fun in the previous fight. Side, because of Taku's advice, she found her purpose again and would not fall into her own despair. The lowest voice she could muster, she ran whispered, Thank you, Takaru. As the main team worked together, Hoji asked Taku as his You sure about this, Taku? So that wasn't? No, I think it's her, Taku said in comments. She'll be back, I'm sure. I believe in her. You know, so that wasn't the only green candidate for colour, you know. Hoji continued. Even the Geki Ranger are the white coloured members, far as the book told us. Have you wanted to search this SCRTC? Oh, you can go ahead and try. That help will be most appreciated. Taku said, agreeing and plan. Very still his beliefs. But I believe Melee will eventually return. Who knows? I'm going to be right or not. You're hopeless. Hody conscious they continue to walk. Can Melee actually be the sixth boy for the team? The team and now come to terms with their history? Think the team would increase? That would bring chaos or fortune. Regardless of what future may bring, giving up is not an option. We want to survive here and get home. Fight! Good luck, Super Sentai. Meanwhile, a bell is based in a mess. Long decided to pay a visit and trash the whole place. Kios, Lamy, Gasa, Doko, and Sibelina all been felled for might of long, even though they're not dead. Why say they fell to his might? That's not that's not exactly what I had used there. Uh, Bell himself some immersive longs he held behind Isa's neck on his hand. You long the begins you can. Bella cursed or coughing in between. <coughs> <coughs> this is all you've got, Alienizer? You're pathetic, long said conkly. I guess this is also all that Tube Empire, Bandora's gang, Yokai Corps, and Neji Red your Kingdom can offer. You all look so hopeless. Bastard! Chaos growls he attempts to get up. 
while Long was still holding Umbrella on his hand. He moved quickly and stomped Kyoza's head, planting his foot to the ground. Oop Solat coming in about one millisecond. Long boasted and taunted. Don't you dare underestimate his deep interloper. Gastoko Yelm was about to strike Long with his sword. He was kicked to the wall, all while Long still planting his other foot to Kyoza's head. Except that really Long was. Also, Boring still advanced. Long was the taunt of the Skolyokai. Get out of here! We don't need you! Lamy and Shibali and Sen use and they raise their sword and stick respectfully, taunting Andy boxed along. Just to wave his hand, a force of wind blew and attacked the ladies, pushing his subjugation. Don't need? Oh, but you need me? Why is there a question mark there? In fact, I'm here for a proposition, Long said cockily. Want to take over this world and you will accept me as your leader. Don't be silly, a brother protested. Maybe calling yourself God among humans, but we are not humans. Oh, does it matter? Long said, closing head to a bellows. Only after to destroy the Super Sentai were in vain. You're hopeless without me. Do accept me as your leader, then we could be making a, a progress in their destruction. So what do you say? In your dreams, little boy, Brother defiantly said, Long merely just choked him harder. Ah! You are wise not to refer to me as such, as I have existed for millennia. Long gave out a sinister warning. If you do not accept me, then I'll just have to kill you all right where now. Do you live? I may share to you your joy for the destruction of the Super Sentai. Do I will let my gold go unfulfilled in vain? Come now, being my seventh is not that bad. So, last chance. Serve me or die. There was a bit of silence to Venti Abella opened his mouth and said, Deal! Oh, very good. Long says you dropped the bell to the ground, took it near my chair. From this point on, I shall be your leader. You my standing in front of me and bowing your head. Runs had no choice but to obey. Long was too powerful. <laughs> Damn it, old bat, are you really gonna go bow you bowing your head to an like an idiot like this? Kyrus whispered. This biding our time. The time comes, and Bellary is sure to use a king you just can bow. You better not be lying, I may as well. <laughs> they can't stand me. Can't what they thought, long could hear their whispers. However, he decided to play along. Well, it's fine. Any attempt at rebellions, I can quite it easily. Soon, soon I'll have my fun. Look at me while well outside, long is ready. The team has got themselves a bigger problem at hand. To be continued. Oh no, that's the end of the chapter, and yes, the spice can't actually melee from Gekko Ranger. At least he appeared as Extra Ranger in Go Kaida, so yes, he's eligible. The other hand, Long has joined the enemy rank and usurped Abrello as place of the leader. The team's in trouble now. Will melee return as Taku trusted? Well, you can only hope and wait till the next chapter. Till then, keep the reviews coming. <laughs> Toodles. Like I said, my feelings are Gekko Ranger's side. I, this is a fairly good chapter. It establishes new characters fairly well for anyone who's not familiar with them. I mean, this is the last I'll probably get to read while I'm at this house. So I'll see you at my new house with chapter 13. Symphony of Chameleon and Phoenix.